What's up? It's your boy. Back to interview questions. And we're gonna get it started. It says, when did you first start singing? Or rapping or whatever. Well, for me, it started back in like the 1980s, maybe like 86, or somewhere around there. I had an older sister, and she was into the hip hop scene. Uh, it was just coming on I me, mean, like, it was like damn near like the first rap songs ever played on radio. And uh, um, back then, the whole battle scene started, and uh, we used to battle in the house. I was probably around 10 years old. I mean, they always remember like the first, my brother and my sister always remember the first verse I wrote. They always laugh about it because I took the MC Hammer beat and just switched up the words. It was nothing about battling. They just like, yo, what do you like? What did you just do? But anyway, that was that. And uh, so I was doing something TLC beat. That's back when I was ten years old. That's that. That's when I first started. Uh, next question is, what did your family do to encourage you? Well, my mother, she was a singer. I got like five uncles that sing, and. Uh, Ironically, they, their last name is Jackson Five. I mean, Jacksons. So, but they was older than the Jacksons, the other Jacksons. So, uh, my mother used to go to the studio. She used to record with a band. So I was around the atmosphere from around five, six years old, seven. I remember going playing with their their kids, and we was all young. And the band, the music was playing. Michael Jackson is in the DVD player, the, the thriller, the, you know, I'm, I'm that whole atmosphere. And uh, that's basically it about the music. Uh, who else in your family sings? Well, I just, I just named everything else. My, my brother and my sister rap. Uh, I can't say if they're any good or not because I haven't heard them, but that's what I hear, they, 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 they rap. I mean, I haven't heard my sister since like 07 or something like that, so. I can't judge an old seven on, on now because times change. You know what I'm saying? But uh, who are your musical inspirations? My musical inspiration would, uh, I can't even leave her out. Like, uh, back when I was 13, 14 years old, Brandy came out. And uh, I don't know her voice, her, the way she looked, everything was just like so, I was so in awe with her. So she, she was the reason why I actually picked up the pen and started to write. Before then, I didn't want to be in, um, before then, I didn't actually want to be in the music industry. I had no thoughts about being in the industry. There was no artist in the industry that I even fell in awe with. I mean, everybody was in, I remember girls being in love with uh, LL Cool J, uh, the, uh, you know, the Backstreet Boys or No Edition. I mean, like, the girls were going crazy over these guys. I'm like, yo, how the fuck can you be, I don't mean to curse, but, how, how could you be this much in love with, a, with with an artist? And then Brandy came out, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> you know what I'm saying?" Like, I had like, like I used to put the, the headphones on, and no matter what, like no matter what mood I was in, I just drift off. And, you know what I mean? Like I was just, I was just there. So that's one of my inspirations. Any other musical inspirations? I mean, as I, I'm Michael Jackson, always Michael Jackson. I mean, when Michael Jackson went to the the award shows and he just performed, you were just like in awe, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wanted to be on stage, you wanted to be Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson was gonna put on the show. You knew Michael Jackson was gonna put on the show when he came to the, when, when he came to the awards. That's basically it. So, uh, you know, that's like, that's basically it, man. Um, any other ones that I can name? I mean, as I grew, they changed. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I mess with Jeezy. I like Jeezy. Uh, I used to like Method Man, but for some reason he fell off. Because uh, back in the days, I wasn't a hip hop dude. I was more of an R&B dude, you know what I'm saying? I used to sit down with my radio, listen to some R&B, and I'd be good. And uh, so when hip hop came out, it's not that I didn't like hip hop, it's just that it didn't have that feel that I wanted to feel. So it took a while for me to get into hip hop itself. Like, I didn't, my mother wasn't buying me CDs for, for, for me to actually sit down and listen to the lyrics and this and that third. Only her was coming on the radio, you know what I'm saying? So with this being said, like I never really got into hip hop itself. 